well, that's part 14, I want to say. And we're clear just off of the playoff, all important playoffs then. Uh, we, so we do kick off with uh, Gateshead. So Gateshead just snuck in. Well, did they sneak in? Yes, yeah, so they got the last position, didn't they? So they finished seventh. Um, we, up in, we was up in four, four points for them. But Gateshead, I don't know, we struggled against this season. So I'm a quick look at how we got on then. So, Last match against them, which I think was on camera, was a 1 1 draw. And a goal for getting the goals. I had a goal even from, from the spot. And then I think we played them second game of the season. Maybe it was 2 0. So, yeah, massive, massive game then to try and um, get a benefit, uh, get, get the better of them. So, for only third time lucky, hopefully. Um, in terms of the team, you see that today it's going to be. Do I keep Banjin, Jack Nadian, what come on as a sub? I think Joe Starbuck and Nathan Tom are going to swap back over. Just something different, opposition wise. So, pick these up always. I've got to just be aware to do it again if they change the striker. But other than that, I think. Oh, Joseph Joseph side, <coughs> excuse me, Joseph Joseph on the bench. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, no, Ben was shit way, he's going to go on the bench as well. So, going to play, going to the Den for the one important playoff is going to be Bulling Goal, Hall left back, uh, Hall left back even, Cullinan and Sassy, uh, centre backs, Alphantine right. Uh, from midfield from left to right is Tawny, goal for Jack Turner and Starbuck, and then up front is Dan Turner and Ellen Bange. So I think, regardless of whatever happens, um, it's been a it's been a good season. We was only expected to finish near table. We've managed to finish fourth. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely improvement. We're definitely going up uh, in the right direction. I think if if, if we do was to get knocked out today, um, we'll just bring the end of season rewards and talk for a few plans for next season and then probably just be really disappointed but we'll worry about that when we get to it so he actually first corner goal for with the corner for us back six turn out and that was that our penalty looked like we got pushed over in the box then no penalty given but the long ball over the top send it over to Tormi can he get across in Nathan Tormi was going all the way back to lose all. Goal for Cunning them. Keeping the ball very well. So he's Jack Turner. Sassy. All over the top. Evan Bang is in. And he's just put it wide. Just want to check actually. So I'm going to keep changing. Evan Bang. Left and right. So I want to make sure for corners. See. He's not the one being. Where is he then? So there's Dan Turner. Is he taking the corner? What is O Ewan Bange? Wow, that is ridiculous. Where is he on here? He's disappeared. Alright, let's hope we score from the one side where he's actually attacking the ball, then, shall we? Three kicks to Gateshead. Uh, probably within shooting range. Take a lot to beat the keeper there from here. And it's curly sharp. Wide and wide of the goal. Next okay, game is gone. Still the other And you start high up with Hall at the left hand side of a throw in. We've lost it. Here comes Gateshead with the ball then. Harris out wide. Just drives on his left hand side for Gateshead. Gets across in Harris. 1 0 Gateshead. Oh, that's annoying. Very, very annoying. Gateshead take lead. Okay, half hour gone. There's actually Nathan Tormund who lost the ball, number 14, on that left hand side, which led to the goal. 
massive winning bet not just shit by on some inside of me just to give him the last few games before he goes Cunningham loves the ball forward Bandit with the header flicks it off a down turn I can get there Keeper's quite a bit of a diving header have you seen that before? Starbuck Keeper's dive with the header quite a bit of a diving header because he goes outside of the box Fell to Starbuck who's it first time into the side name <gasps> have you scored? yes Harvey Cunningham just before half time, back on track, 1 1. Free kick coming from a uh, goal for on his left hand side. Back seat to him and Banj, who's knocked it across goal for Cullinan to just tap in, he couldn't miss. 1 1. Brilliant, just get, get back in the game just before half time. Good, so, start the second half. We're going to keep the same team. We're doing okay by the looks of things. Possession wise, we're on top. So we are keeping the ball well. Banch has won that uh, header. He's gone for. Back to his Hall. It's calling in the goal scorer. Goal for. Sassy. I think someone is actually interested in Dan Sassy, so I need to make a decision whether to offer him a new contract or not. And we've actually lost the ball. It's uh, Joe Starbuck that's lost it. But oh, Rack Band just won it back. Starbuck again. Alfontaine. Starbuck. Looks the ball forward. I might have to take him off. I'm not been impressed so far. These first few minutes. Okay, so it's won it back by the way. And they're coming forward down his left hand side. Jarvis who set up the first goal. Put it across to the player that we actually tried to sign in. No. So, for me, not for me, Starbuck, it's going to come off. We I mean, better not just shit by on. It's what his last game, because he's leaving on a free transfer. He wants to explore his options and leave. He hasn't played much since Starbuck come in. So hopefully he can actually end on a bit of a high for us. Help us get promoted. Okay, throw him down to that. Not just shit by. His cross is cleared. And it's picked up by Dan Sassi. Comes forward to Alvin Fontaine. And it's defended well by Gates Head, but it's very forwards and backwards straight away. So Gates Head do have the ball. They've gone forward down to right hand side. Picked out Richardson, who unmarked. He gets a cross in, and Harry South put it in. It's his second goal. Did Harry score that first goal, did it? Yeah, he did. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, so. It's half Jack that in as well. Where is he? Get him on. Okay, so 2 1 down, 20 minutes ago. Oh, what can we do? Just notice that Harris has come off. We do need to. Tight to so where the strikers on the pitch, so that's pretty good. That come on, Emmy Turn. He's really close with us. Don't just see it out. Don't be a boy in the last couple of minutes. Into the stoppage side, four minutes ago. Okay, who's the highlight? Couldn't done. Made that ball down left hand side, Nathan told me. Pulls all the way across the match, just put it in. He will manage to equalise. It's 2 2. Oh, in the 92nd minute. 92nd minute. So it's a free kick, just a simple ball over the top. As you do, I suppose, when you're looking for a goal. Tormey's putting a cross goal straight on the plate for Ivan Banj, and he's tapped it in, making it 2 2. Okay, it's like extra time then. Yeah, there we go. It's 2 2. I'm going straight into extra time. Okay, uh, do I have subs left? Are you allowed subs? Any more subs? Yeah, I've got one more. How many? I've got one more sub? Yeah, I've still got one more sub. It's funny stuff. Looking at my bench, there's no really game changers there. I mean, Joseph Joseph. I don't want to turn in on Gelo. Do I bring on Gelo on? 
No, I'm going to keep it as this. Okay, into the last five minutes then. It's going to be a late winner. Okay, highlight with two minutes to go. He's Dan Sassy, Jack Turner, goal for Sassy. Back to Jack Turner. He ball forward. Oh, we don't get it under control. You know what you see, they're looking for that ball in behind the defence. Oh, he used Peter Park on him. Back to Toby Ball. Okay, a minute and a half to go. Lose ball on the left hand side. Out to Nathan Tormley, into Jack Nadine. He loses it out, loses out to Cissé. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you come, great serve, the long ball forward. Ball in behind. Martin is going to finish it, he squared it. And yeah. Yeah, that man, Dan Jarvis, who surely has won the game for KZ. <clears throat> very, very disappointing. Ah, there's that full time whistle. There it is. Leonton 2, KZ 3. Ah, that's our promotion push done with for, uh, for this season then. Absolutely gutted. But, you know, finishing fourth in the table isn't a bad achievement. Ah, oh, I'm gutted. Gutted. But, club vision wise, I'm still untouchable. The, uh, I didn't really see that. So there was a new objective I did to reach the semi-final. We didn't do, we didn't make it. But, we've gone from being a relegation threatened team to finishing mid-table. Um, so yeah, not too, in, in terms of the club reputation and structure, everything seems to be going well. Now what I'll do though is come back for the end of season awards. So actually, is it going to be, it's going to be straight away, isn't it? Let's just see. Oh, there you go. Budgets for next season. So, transfer budget zero, which obviously we expected. Uh, wage budget is six thousand two hundred and six point two thousand a week. That's that's fine. Not too bad. Okay, so it's not showing me in the season awards. Maybe we're we just going to see this one. Let's uh, see after this semi final. It's interesting to see who wins it anyway. So, Blythe versus Spennymore. Taking its time. The drama going on. No, it's two 0 win for Spenny Moore. So we're looking at the fixtures then. It is going to be Boston versus Spenny Moore, Scarborough versus Gateshead. I mean that's the one I would have wanted. In all fairness, the Scarborough game. Ah, but never mind. We go again next season. Okay, so I'm just gonna come back. Oh, here it is. There we go. End the season rewards then. So we're gonna have a quick run through these. Transfers in, Jack Turner from Southampton, he's been brilliant. Um, everyone's happy with him, but 45 appearances, 3 goals, 3 assists, 7.26 rating. Then Sassy, um, again, decent signing, uh, 50 appearances, 1 goal, 5 assists, a good average rating as well. Jack Nadine, superstar, striker, who partnered up well with Dan Turner, he coming from Nottingham Forest, 44, goal, uh, 44 appearances, 28 goals, and 10 assists. Toby Ball, goalkeeper, coming from Brighton. Is that both of the goalkeepers? No, no the board weren't really happy with him. Paying over the odds. How much are we paying him? £230 a week, okay. That'd be interesting. How much does Louis Molden get him? £324, oh God. I wonder how our wage budget's messed up. Okay. So, yeah, Toby Ball. Uh, Lewis Bolden, both come in, both done relatively well. Marcel Alva Fontaine, he was one of my favourites, I thought he'd done quite well. Iman Banj, he's had a half decent season. Um, what's he did? Cole's gone. Who it is? What? Oh, it's all gone messed up. It's all gone messed up. Uh, okay. 
I've completely messed this up. Okay, so just going through the, the rest of them that we haven't touched upon already then. So Joseph Jovi coming on loan. Uh, I thought he was going to do better than what he did, if I'm being honest. Jordan Ado, Antone, I mean, board teamed up with him. I mean, he come in, I wanted to play him, but Lewis Hall sort of picked up his performances. Um, so has two ball got a sign of the season? Okay. Is that for the whole league? Longello come in, <coughs> disappointing, board were unhappy with him either. Uh, Harry McHugh, I thought he was, would have been better. Uh, who else haven't we touched upon? Or is that F1? Joe Starbuck coming from Sheffield United. <coughs> uh, had his moments. Overall, I'm a bit disappointed. Danny Whitehead, I thought he was going to be a good sign for the fact that he helped get forward promoted. And he's quite regular in the, in the appearances, but no, he didn't do anything for me. Okay, so players out. I would have been through them at the beginning. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, how it unfolded then. So, season, FA Cup. Uh, well, was, once it's been competitive, which we did, we got to the fourth qualifying round. And a little bit of money. Probably would have liked to have gone a little bit further. But, um, we got we knocked out by Kings Lynn, who are in the league above. FA Trophy. Not bothered about this one at all. I don't think the board are either. We lost 3 0 to Salford. Okay, biggest win was 4 1 win over Buxton. Um, match remember 2 0 win over Darlington. And goal of the season was Nathan Tormey. Um, okay, so we'll have a look at that one against Blythe. Finances. Reputation still the same. Sp no sponsorships. But generally. Um, what was that? Prize money done. We got 59,000, nearly 60,000 last year. This year, only 12. But our uh, match day commercial and retail went up well, quite a bit. So, hopefully, biggest uh, shirt sales was Jack Nadine, uh, Jack Turner, Longello, Goldfarb, and Starbuck. Okay, season's best 11. Toby Bowling goal. All left back, Cullinan, Sassy, and Alpha Fontaine. Gelo at left mid for some reason. Uh, goal for Turner and Nathan Tormey. And up front Dan Turner and Jack Nadin. Okay, so a few awards sort of go from as well. Competition awards did. I thought we got the sign of the season. Fans player of the season, Jack Turner. Young player of the season, Jack Turner. Sign of the season, must be just be for the club. It's a Toby Ball. Nathan Tormey got goal of the season. Top goal scorer Jack Nadine with 28 goals. Most assist is Elliot Goldthorpe with 13. Fan match is Jack Nadine. And highest average rating is Jack Turner. And most passes completed per 90 minutes. Elliot Goldthorpe. Okay, so record breakers. Dan Turner scored three goals in the game. Um, also three goals in the league game. Most assists in the season. Uh, records beat broken for Elliot Goldthorpe. Most player matches in one season, Jack Nadine with 9. Youngest player, Letchell Smith, 16 years old. Fastest goal was Jack Nadine with 35 seconds on the clock. And the youngest goal scorer was also Jack Nadine. So I think it's fair to say he's had one of the good seasons for us. Okay, <clears throat> where are we at? So nothing really to touch up on. I, I do I mean, this is an improvement. I like this screen that the football manager just brought in. But without a trophy or some sort of landmark, there's nothing really to go through. But yeah, there it is. So, just looking at it. So, we've gained 941 social media followers. Great. Okay. Um, I'll go through expectations. So, the club want to again record a top half finish, which I think we can do fairly comfortably. Um, play high tempo football. Play possession football and work with your wage budget. Okay, so that wraps up the end of the season. Then, so what we'll do is going to go through all the transfers, uh, get the pre-season out of the way with. Um, next season, looking to bring in a few more because we are going to lose a few players or leaving on the free transfer. We need better players in certain positions, so uh, we'll work hard this summer, get the right players in. Uh, we'll do a little transfer recap and then bring you the first game of the season. 
Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you liked uh, the video and the season, how it sort of all panned out, uh, give the video a quick like and please give me a comment if you want to see anything different, if I've missed anything that you're, you're just interested in. But yeah, brilliant. Thanks for watching.